హలో వ్యూవర్స్ సో హోప్ యు ఆర్ ఆల్ వెల్ వెల్కమ్ బ్యాక్ టు మై ఛానల్ సో టుడే వీ ఆర్ గోయింగ్ టు లర్న్ అబౌట్ ద ఫ్రమ్ ద చాప్టర్ క్వార్డినేటర్స్ అండ్ పెరాలోగ్రామ్ ద చాప్టర్ ఇస్ ఫ్రమ్ ఆర్ఎస్ అగర్వాల్ మ్యాథ్ బుక్ క్వార్డినేటర్స్ అండ్ పెరాలోగ్రామ్ ఐ ఎమ్ రైటింగ్ ద టాపిక్ in the board so that you can understand the topic is quadrilateral quadrilateral and parallelogram okay quadrilateral and parallelogram now as uh, we have already discussed about the formula of quadrilateral and parallelogram chapter for not formula uh, the theorem and there are various types of sol- solved examples are given in rs agarwal math book from quadrilateral and parallelogram chapter now today so we have already learned that today we are going to start exercise 9b okay of chapter quadrilateral and parallelogram exercise 9b now without wasting our time let us come to uh, start exercise 9b exercise 9b <coughs> question number 1 i am not solving question number 1 i am giving hint this is my question number 1 the parallelogram is given and this is given 72 degree okay so we have to calculate the rest of the angle this is angle a b c d angle a is equal to 72 degree we have to calculate the rest of the angle that is angle b angle c angle d okay now as we know that for a parallelogram the opposite angles are equal we know that so it seems this is 72 degree so this is also 72 degree we can write that now if we not apply this we should, we can uh, we can uh, try uh, by another method the method is this is 72 degree we can we can take this is as, as x degree now since this is parallelogram so bc parallel to ad so and this is transversal so the this angle plus this angle should be 180 degree so x plus 72 degree is equal to 182 degree understood 180 degree now from here x is equal to 180 minus 72 that is one zero eight degree so this x is equal to one zero eight degree now again we should apply that previous previous formula that is this is 72 so the opposite angle of this should be same so this same this is equal to 72 and this is one zero eight so the opposite angle of this should be same so this is 108 understood that so that is the solution of the first question question number one next come to question number two exercise 9b rs agarwal rs agarwal next question number two what is given in question number two in the adjoining figure the figure is given like that this is the figure this is 80 degree this is 60 degree okay so we have to calculate angle cdb 
if we name it A, B, C, D. This is A, B, C, D. We have to calculate angle A, D, B, angle A, D, B, and angle C, D, B. Angle A, D, B, this angle. A D B and angle C D B means this angle we have to calculate and this angle we have to calculate. Now for that calculation, what we have to do? We have to take <coughs> that this is eighty degree. Okay, since this is eighty degree. So we have to find this angle. Now uh, let us uh, take that. Since this is eighty degree, so this is eighty degree. We can find that now. Uh, this angle plus we have to find angle CDB. C db and adb now this is a since this is 80 degree and uh, this angle is 60 degree okay this angle is 60 degree now and we know that ad parallel to bc ad here ad is parallel to bc ad parallel to bc and bd is transversal bd is the transversal so these two angle are alternate in angle so if this angle is 60 degree that means this angle is also 60 degree obviously and after that so my angle cdb is equal to 60 degree angle cdb c d b sorry single not cdb angle adb angle adb is equal to adb is equal to 60 degree okay now we have to find angle cdb for that angle CDA plus angle angle CDA plus angle DAB DAB is equal to 180 degree this whole angle and this angle is equal to 180 degree why because this is the adjacent angle of a parallelogram now sum of adjacent angle of a parallelogram is 180 degree so this plus this is equal to 180 degree now, if we are breaking that angle CDA, CDA is equal to angle CDA is equal to angle CDB plus angle BDA or ABD or ADB sorry ADB plus angle DAB angle DAB angle DAB is equal to one eighty. Now here degree should be mentioned here now here angle cdb angle c db we have to find so angle cdb remain here cdb plus angle adb angle a db is equal to 60 degree plus angle dab angle dab is equal to 80 degree is equal to 180 now here angle cdb plus this is 140 is equal to 180 now angle CDB is equal to how much? 180 minus 140. That is only 40 degree. So angle CDB is equal to 40 degree, and this is equal to 40. This is equal to 40, and angle ADB is equal to 60 degree. Okay. This is final question number two. Next come to. Question number three, that is given. Question number three, in the question number three, the question is given in the adjoining figure, ABCD is a parallelogram in which angle A is equal to 60 degree. Let us draw the question. Question number three. If we draw the figure,